Hey folks, do you struggle with due dates in OmniFocus? Do you find yourself assigning fake due dates to help you plan your days or plan your weeks and does that sometimes stress you out? Well, don't worry, a lot of people do this, but there is a solution. So first off, my name is Peter and I help people get organized and be more productive. And in this video, I will share with you an OmniFocus technique for solving this problem for helping you plan your days and plan your weeks without setting fake or arbitrary due dates. And that will lower your stress level, help you feel more in control and help you be more productive. So I'll talk a little bit about what this technique is, why some people have called it life changing and how you will set it up. I'll, I'll show you in fact, how to set it up in OmniFocus. So the first thing we'll do is uh, I'm just gonna move myself out of the way so that you can see my screen over here. And uh, I'll point you to a comment I got on one of my other YouTube videos in which I talk about this technique. Now this technique is called a next tag. And I've talked about it in other videos, but I wanted to dedicate this particular video to talking about this tag because um, that way I can help more people use this tag uh, and change their life. As you can see, someone commented right here, your next tag has been life changing for me. Such a relief not to be struggling with fake, also known as wishful thinking due dates. Well, when you get feedback like this, you know, you know you're know you onto something and that's why I want to share this technique with as many of you as possible. So let's talk about this life changing tag called the next tag. First thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna do is open up my OmniFocus. So, and let me ask you, how do you plan your days and weeks? When you're thinking, you know, it's Monday or it's Sunday or whatever, you're thinking, what am I gonna do tomorrow? What am I gonna do the day after that? And what am I gonna do today, right? How would you do that in OmniFocus? So if I create a task in OmniFocus, right? Let's say there's something I want to do and I want to uh, clean up my desk. Something I did this morning, uh, feels lovely to have a clean desk. Now you can ask yourself, when am I gonna do that? So maybe you say, mm, you know what? I'd like to do this on Tuesday. So you could use uh, the defer functionality in OmniFocus and defer the task until Tuesday. Well, that's great. Um, it, is, it is actually Tuesday today, so uh, as I'm recording this, so it's deferred until this morning. Um, but what happens now? You know, if, if I go into the forecast perspective in OmniFocus, this task does not show up. Now there's something you can do about that. You can change the OmniFocus settings and you can click show deferred items, and then this task will show up. But under today in the forecast perspective, but what if I had actually set this task to be deferred until yesterday? The task doesn't show. So if you rely on defer dates and you use this setting, uh, show deferred items, and you check that, then the, the item that is deferred until a certain date will only show up in your forecast perspective in OmniFocus on that day. And if you don't get to it that day, it won't show anymore under forecast under today, tomorrow. So you kind of lose track of the task. So I don't think this is a good solution for helping you plan your days and your weeks. Um, What's an alternative? An alternative is using a due date. So you could say, you know what? I'd really like to do this today, so I'm gonna set this task to be due today. And what happens now is if I go under the forecast view, then obviously this task shows up under today. It shows up as due today, right? But um, this is a fake due date. It's an arbitrary due date. Like if I don't clean up my desk today, there will not be serious consequences. Um, and that's a problem because when you assign due dates in OmniFocus for tasks that if you don't complete them by that time, you know, there is not a substantial consequence, then you're training yourself, you're training your brain to ignore due dates. So what happens the next time a due date comes around that is important and, you know, there is a task with a due date that if you don't do the task by that date, there will be some bad thing happening, right? Then you may have trained yourself just to ignore it. You may ignore it and the bad thing may happen. So it's not a good idea to assign due dates when they don't really exist in reality, right? When there's not an actual negative consequence in reality to you not completing the task by that time. Moreover, if you end up having lots of tasks that are overdue and you haven't gotten to them yet, it's really depressing to look at your OmniFocus, right? If there's like 25 tasks overdue, you may end up being like, oh, like I don't wanna think about this. I don't even wanna look at my OmniFocus today. And you'll just stop using the app and be even less productive. So defer dates is not a good way to show your intent to work on something on a certain date. And neither are due dates, but those are the only two date fields that exist in OmniFocus. So 
What else can you do? Well, this is where the life changing <laughs> next tag comes to the rescue. This is a tag that we're going to apply to all of the tasks that we'd like to work on next, whatever that means. So for me, next means ideally today, like maybe tomorrow or in sometime in the next couple of days, you know? And you can define this however you want. There's no strict definition, but here's what we're gonna do. We're going to uh, create this tag called next. I already have it, but if you don't have it, just uh, um, rather than you know type next and rather than hitting enter, just hit command enter or command return if you want, and that will create that tag. So now I've got this tag set up on this task. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the forecast perspective. I'll actually uncheck this deferred thing. All you gotta do is right here under today shows items with this tag, choose that next tag. All right, um, and then just click away. And what you'll see is you'll see that task that you just tagged with next show up under today. So now this is me saying, you know what? I intend to clean up my desk today. And um, if I don't get to it today, that's no problem. Tomorrow will become today and this task will still show. It's not using the defer date functionality. It's not using the due date functionality. Of course, let's say I have another task. Okay, let's say I have send article to the editor. Let's say I'm writing an article. I have to send it to, to an editor, right? Um, and this is actually due today. How is that going to look? Now under my forecast view, I see both the tasks that are actually due today, as well as the ones that I intend to work on today. And this is a really lovely mix because to be productive, you know, you've got, there are urgent tasks that you have to do by a certain time, right? And you'll, you'll have those maybe every day, maybe every so often. You gotta do those. Some things are just urgent. Even if they're not like the most important things for you to do, you just have to do them. I don't know, like filing your taxes. But then there's those other tasks, right? The ones that are important, but not necessarily urgent. And you'd like to make progress on those as well. And those tasks that are important, but not necessarily urgent, those are the ones that are ideal for applying the next tag. So when you look at your today uh, in your uh, forecast perspective, which is how I suggest you use OmniFocus, mainly living out of the forecast perspective, you'll be reminded of both the things that are urgent as well as the, the things that are important, the things that you'd like to work on next. So that's the next tag. And it's really simple to use. And it helps you set an intention to work on something today, tomorrow, sometime soon, you know, next, without using fake due dates or without using the defer date. So this is the basic features. Now I want to talk about a few other nuances to using the next tag. Let's say I want to clean up my desk, but I don't want to do it today. I want to do it Friday or sometime after Friday. What I can do is I can actually use the next tag in combination with a defer date. So I can actually defer this task until Friday and assign the next tag. Now, if I go to my forecast perspective, it doesn't show. And then the task also doesn't show under Friday because this setting is called today shows items with this tag. But when Friday becomes today, then this task will show up. So this is a really nice way to plan your week ahead of time. You can use the, apply the next tag to tasks that you'd like to work on throughout the week and then defer each task to the day that you'd like to work on that task, excuse me. <laughs> um, so this is a great way to plan your week. And yeah, an alternative way to do it is to actually open your calendar and sort of fill your calendar with a lot of events of when you'd like to work on a specific task. That's something that people will do. And I sometimes do this as well. You can see I'm actually doing this for some of the um, upcoming days, but I don't like to fill my calendar too much because it feels too restrictive to me. And so by assigning the next tag to a task, it's, it's, it's me saying, I want to work on this sometime soon, but it doesn't commit me to when I'll work on it. So it allows me some flexibility, which I really enjoy having. Okay, now another thing. We can also combine the next tag with a due date. So let's do this. I'm giving a speech on August 21st, so I need to practice my speech. So let's say practice speech, and I would like to do that by August 20th at the latest. But, you know, it would be good to do it sooner rather than later. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna assign this task both a due date for when like I really need to do this by August 20th because I'm giving my speech by August 21st so there'll be a big negative consequence if I don't practice my speech because you know my speech will be pretty bad probably but I would also like OmniFocus to reflect my intention to work on this task soon so that's why I'm also assigning the next tag and so now under forecast you'll see that practice speech shows up here 
it shows up under today, under the next tags under today, as well as having a due date. So if I actually scroll ahead to August 20th, you'll see that the task is listed here again because it's actually due on that date. All right, that's the next tag in OmniFocus. Again, I've had a lot of positive feedback about this task, uh, about this tag. A lot of people love it. I highly recommend that you use it. If you would like some more information on how to use this task or this tag and how to integrate it with the rest of your OmniFocus workflow, I highly recommend that you check out my OmniFocus 3 video course. It's called How to Set Up and Use OmniFocus 3 to Get Stuff Done. And the link to that course is in the description below the video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And as always, leave a comment too. Let me know what you think or um, let me know what other topics within OmniFocus you'd like me to cover in future videos. Thank you very much and have a great day.